weird that the shy guys are all together. Aren't they supposed to be specifically, like, in their own zone? Also, are there shy guy masks you can buy? Because I would totally wear one. And I am a shy guy, so <laughs> that makes sense. I don't know, man. Anyway, fire flower for you. Uh, sure, actually, and a mushroom for me. Ba -ba -ba -da. Also, I was going to reply to a thing, but I already missed it, so hold on, I'll get back to it in a moment. Lovely. Thank you very much. Ba -da. And like a simple jump for you. Yeah, that works for me. Cool. Um, it was a message from Broken Dylan, I believe, that I wanted to reply to. Although I can barely pay attention to these things. Um, I have already lost it. Where is it? There it is. Did the gift sends go through properly for you? They did, I think. Yes. I've got them all sorted. Thank you very much for those, Broken Dylan. You are way too generous. And even Nintendo Capri Sun put a thank you Twitter in general about how his sub count doubled. So, uh, you were part of that. Uh, that's not good. Maybe we should kept should have kept one of them around to pilot this thing. <laughs> that that does make sense. Mario, I'll try to stabilize the ship. Go after the bucket. There must be a switch or something to release it. I have no idea where I can find such a thing. Also, you're right, I should stop actually using my paint hammer. And just hammer like normal. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, scrap. Okay, noted. Shouldn't have pressed the big red button. But it makes a big red tower, so it's all cool. I still have a qualm with the level design, not the level design, the uh, map design here. Why is there a giant wall with a door if it just leads to an island with a bridge to the tower? Shouldn't the door be attached to the tower? What do I know? Why even have a self-destruct button on your airship? That's just bad engineering. But it's all good, because the Crimson Tower is crimson again. I wouldn't know. Oh, it'll probably be pretty rough in there, Mario. Maybe we should go restock our cars before we go in. And the know-it-all toad in the trash can in Port Brisbane can tell us if we need anything special. Wow, way to make things a tad too easy, but okay. Oh, that's cool. But the the anchor is still had an effect. Right, okay. I probably should actually get some cards, so I will do that now. I can't press plus because I haven't done this level. This is the boring part where there isn't even any music to uh, back anything up. Good luck, Mario. The Crimson Tower awaits. Go get that big pasta. Okie dokie. In a bit. Goodbye. Any thoughts on playing the Bowser's Inside Story remake next year or any other Mario RPGs? I would love to play uh, Paper Mario Superstar Saga and Bowser's Minions, genuinely, because I, I have that remake and I like the game and I did want to play it, but I'll probably do it like on a side thing, not making a series out of it, just playing it for fun. I would like to play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time because I've got that downloaded on my Wii U's virtual console. That sounds pretty bad to me too, but I don't want to get paper, uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, the remake, because I haven't got the money outright. I have less money now than I ever have before and my income is okay that I can pay rent, so I'm not quite at that level yet, but I can't be making investments at the moment is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, so I'm not going to. I think I'm supposed to go left, wasn't I, for the cards? I think so, yeah. Um, so no, maybe I'll buy, nope, probably won't even buy the Virtual Console one. I'd rather play the first two games first and then go to the third one, which is Bowser's Inside Story. That is the third one, isn't it? I feel like it is. I think so. Right, give me some cards and let's get going. That was really weird. I, th I thought I heard my ringtone then. Well, because they, they were using the xylophone, so I was like, what's going on? We're good. You're gonna pay for that? Wait, what's going on? Where'd they go? I got swarmed by a bunch of rowdy customers with straws, and then everything went white. 
I'm not gonna fuss. I mean, I'll go drum up some more customers. Right, this costs like nothing. Welcome, many thanks for helping me out. Plus my car is back in business. Oh, I can sell some things. Eh, maybe another time. Like, I'm happy to spend coin, like, when... I've got so much money. Oh. Oh. Okay, I see. How many cars am I allowed to hold? Well, that covers me. If I made a giant mistake, do let me know, but otherwise I think I'm good. Blind and Smokey, you're saying you've got a challenge because of the 49 bits, but it's... Here's a challenge that's not waste cards. 100% half of the game. Oh, okay, so 50% the game? Like, I don't really want to waste the time on it. People aren't invested to see me colour everything in. I'd rather do things that people would enjoy seeing. Playing the game, I'll play, but I won't complete it if people don't want to see it completed. I don't... <laughs> I'm not that invested. Hello again, Mario. I didn't know anything about the thing today. You must seek a red thing on a red road. It's cool that which is hot. It cools that which is hot. I have a really special feeling about this particular thing. I think it would be just the thing for you. Okay, so I need another, I need another fan. Um, is it really just another one at Ruddy Road? I guess so. That's a design I don't like. Why do I have to go back to a level again to grab a thing? Why isn't it on the way? Uh, like, why? Why is. Why are there two scenarios where I need a fan? Assuming that is the case. Why are there two scenarios where I need a fan? And there's only one source of such a, th such a fan. I'm already supposed to go to this level twice. Maybe that's the point. You do it once for one way and you get it the second time the other way. And I just didn't do the second way yet. That's possible. Seems more likable. But I don't know these things, so uh, let's go anyway. Is this Cherry Lake? No. No, it wouldn't be. No. Is this new? No, it's not that either. Oh, you want an extinguisher. Okay. I don't remember I don't remember all this, but okay. Greetings, Mario. <coughs> Greetings, Mario. I'm the captain of the Purple Rescue Squad. We receive reports that people are having trouble getting past this cliff. We need mobilized to see if we can find a way to scale it. Unfortunately, none of my three squaddies have arrived yet. They should have been here by now. If you see any purple red squashing, uh, purple red squad members at our HQ in Port Prisma, please tell them to meet me here. Over and out. Again? This is a lot of backtracking. This isn't even like a side- This isn't a side quest. It's treating it like a side quest on the main quest. I want to just play the game. Well, for a start, I should learn how to be more efficient by just going straight to the world map. But even still, this would be cool. I'm happy to do all this kind of backtracking back to the main menu if it was a side mission. If it was something I found on the side in like a call center, great. Don't make me do this for the story. It's not an open world! I mean, I guess it kind of is. But even still... Uh... Though I guess this is exactly what they kind of did with each chapter of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. But even still... Could have been improved. I think it's because I have to go in and out of levels that it feels more in the way. Oh, there's another one. Attention, Purple Rescue Squads! Report to your captain in Ruddy Road on the double! Understood, over and out! Or maybe I needed three in total. Have I have I missed one? Here's the latest rescue squad info. I've heard from the purple rescue squad leader. We're still missing one of the purple squad members. Here's the breakdown. One in Blue Bay Beach. Dismissed. Okay. Great. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe this will grow on me. Maybe I'll get used to this in a bit. And maybe I'll like that it's all this purple rescue toad things going on. And I like that they actually tell me where it is, which is nice. Right.
Right, I don't... I don't really remember a purple toad in this whole place. Unless he's only just popped up now. In which case that sucks. But if he's been foreshadowed, then that's cool. I should have picked it up. Like General White in... Pepperman Thousand Toad. You won't remember General White, but even... Even still, it's all cool to me. Was I supposed to go way out here to do the cut the cut thing? Or is it just not available now? Is the main area not available? Am I going the wrong way for it? I was going the wrong way for it. Cool, we can calm down for a moment. I do really enjoy it. I think the music is probably one of the best parts of this game. This game is really beautifully done. Like, it's got three out of five things correct, I think. Like, the visuals look great. Like, it's nicely, like, uh, built into the world. It's got a nice aesthetic that has its own, like, rules that it kind of keeps up with. The music sounds great. I'm enjoying the music. Part of the reason I enjoyed this, or decided to get this game, was because the soundtrack sounded so good. And the third wing was that people were actually complimenting it for the writing. So it's got good writing, good visuals, and good sound like good music so I can't don't really have a lot to complain about it just sort of messes up on what does it mess up on I guess like stories a little bland and um oh yeah mechanics mechanics is a big three out of ten but in general actually this game seems to be coming out quite okay and that is okay to be it's okay to be an okay game like, I remember seeing a post recently that was saying, you know, why is it that all games now are either reviewed as the best game in existence in the last decade, or absolutely terrible deserves to be thrown in the toilet forever? Like, a game can be okay, and I think this is one of them. It averages out. It does really good visuals, it does really good writing, it does really good soundtrack. Although, everything seems to do good soundtrack when it's Nintendo. So, I'm happy to also just have an okay Paper Mario game. Better than Sticker Star, you know? Cannot complain on that level. Am I miss- oh. It was literally use the horizon of just the general sea. Man, that's a bit boring. There you go, look at that. So clear to see. Off it goes. Doody do. And walk all the way to the right. That's some groundbreaking stuff right there. Also, hey, I can now actually film my gamepad. All I needed was face cam. Fixes everything. Oops. That's cool. I like that. That's a nice mechanic. Using of the mechanics. Like extra mechanic usage. Never mind. You know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. Yoink. Hello, you. There's something so mesmerizing about the ocean. Oh, well. Ah, when did the tide come in? I'm trapped. Oh, a bridge! I'm saved! <laughs> turn number three of the Battle Squad, part of a duty! Now, if you see me, I must return to my squad leader already, already made it, eh? How do you know that already? <gasps> cool. Let's get going. It does feel nice as a side quest. Just don't want to be dealing with in my story mode. But hey, I always have been a critic. I haven't been a critic. Well, I'm just grumpy. All the purple rescue toads have been... have gathered. At. This is very slow font. I also imagine the average player probably worked that out, but then actually, maybe not. I can see some people not paying enough attention and just messing it up anyway. Right. I wish I could, like, just teleport through the level to where I need to be. You know? Why do I have to always run through? I mean, it's nice that I've got extra question marks to grab cards from and just get three times worn out jumps infinitely. But, like, are there not enemies in the way here? Do they always do things in enemy-less enemies? Like, low levels? No. I have to run into this yellow shy guy every time I want to do this, potentially. Oh well. Time number three, we're part of a duty! Oh. Man, come on! Give me a second line of dialogue that I could have enjoyed. Round call! One, two, three! Oh, Bubble Squad is present and accounted for! I'm hoping to see all of the different colours and all of the different squads all combined for some crazy final boss fight. That's all I deserve. All I deserve, all I wish for in life. Yeah, only because Mario caught them slagging off. Ah, uh, yes, and it looks like we need to help out Mario now. Purple rescue squads, toads, commence operations, step it up! Uh, 
Alrighty. Is it the same sticker effect as in Sticker Star? You're on, Mario! No, it's not. It's spring. I appreciate it. I appreciate the difference. Nope. Oh, it's steps. It's slightly different. Okay. I'm curious to see if the next Paper Mario is this aesthetic as well, because they already used it in Sticker Star as well. So maybe it'd be like, have they run out of ideas? Because this is new. So we'll see. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I still need to turn down my computer sounds. That freaking screwed me over. Oh, hello, Broken Dylan. Gifting a sub to Proton John. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure he'll ever see that or care, but <laughs> great. Uh, for those who don't know, Broken Dylan also sub-gifted me to Proton John and Nintendo Capri Sun. He's just doing all the networking he can, can't he? But I doubt he'll care or pay attention, but if he does... Otherwise... Let's just get on with normal life and try not to sweat the big guys. Mario, you should be able to scale the cliff now! Go for it! Okie dokie. One, two, three, four! Oh. Captain! Yes, that always comes after three. Um, also, what do you say backwards? It will not let me. Captain! Two! Okay, so the green ones actually said something different the other way around, but these guys, they do not. Pull hard! Oh, they say buttons really, really tugging me down. If you haven't seen this before, this is called ringing. They turn it into a sticker. Somehow. They just rip the colour out of it. They do this in like torture things? What character, could a character be tortured to be wrung out? Because obviously the shy guys suck the colour out of them. But can someone, like could Mario just grab someone and just be like <coughs> and turn them into a card and then use them like and force them to be your partner? Like slavery? Is slavery a thing in this Mario universe? This Paper Mario universe? Can Mario grab Bowser, ring him out, and then just like be like, you're my partner now. This is Super Mario, Super Paper Mario all over again. Get on with life. I don't know. What am I doing now? I got the thing. What was I getting? I got an extinguisher. That's right. Which is presumably all I need for the Crimson Tower. If I need something else, then the game is even worsely levelly designed. Good grammar. You know, it's actually kind of nice, even though it's kind of backwards, to have loading screens with no music. I genuinely didn't mind that just then. Also, I was going to make a comment like, this is weird. This is weird. Uh, actually, I guess it's supposed to be atmospheric because it's slightly windy, isn't it? No, no. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. This is like the hook tail kind of theme where it's just all atmosphere. But earlier, when there was no sound in the loading screen, I actually quite liked it. Uh, hey, hey, Mario! What do you know? It was a toad. How did I know? This is it! The Crimson Tower Bridge! You can tell, because it's crimson, there's the tower, and this is a bridge! <laughs> Isn't she a beaut? Go on, Mario! Cross the bridge! Cross the bridge! I want to see what it looks like! That's slightly creepy, but okay. You like Stick a Star Meep? I appreciate the music. What was I going to look at? Uh... You are correct, Mario Mario. It's quite the observation. This game genuinely has adult humor. I can't I can't explain it to you because it, it just doesn't make sense if you weren't there. But, well, it kind of does, but I'm not very good at explaining it. But it's a true thing. Um... So the two challenges you've now got Blinded Smoker for your 49 bits, even though I'm pretty sure it takes 100 bits or 50 bits, you're still one bit missing, is take as little possible damage, which is what I would do anyway, or to keep a tally of how much and you take and show up at the end. Uh, that's a lot of effort you're asking for. Or complete all the temples. I will probably do that-ish anyway. We'll see. We'll see. I'm still not sure how much of this game I'm going to play. I might stop after this stream. Have to see on the reception. <laughs> so like, did he levitate through the walls? 
Or did he have that much, 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 bleh, that much momentum? Because there's another him-shaped hole way far back through this room of no lighting. And why can't we see the light now that light's clearly going into it? Morton! Why Morton here? <sighs> oh yeah! The big un! Big old pen star! Need find big pen star! So like, did he get cannonballed in from an air... Uh, ship? Fine right now, and fastly! Oh, I was really hoping he'd use the question mark lock. That would've been cool. You know that, right? Big pain star? I think he meant to see means big pain star. It's gotta be at the top of this tower. We need to get up there now. But wait! How does he even know the big pain star is here? And also, who was that guy? Did you not see the intro? He was Morton! We are screwed, and Maraxi didn't get hit by the Chai Guy. Ah, I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't know where they came from, so I assumed it wouldn't happen. Oh, God. How about no? Bye. I just keep fleeing. These fights are not worth it. Until that happens. <laughs> oh, Blinded Smoke, you donated another time? Well, that's cool, but also your challenge is still... They don't invest me, so I probably won't do them. I'm only really playing this pretty casually for my own sake. If you can find a really interesting challenge, then maybe, but this RPG just might not also be very challengeable. You know what? Who needs a question mark block? I don't. Who needs anything? I don't. I got everything I ever wanted, pretty much. And not because I'm spoiled, but because I'm lucky. Actually, I'm not sure about that. Is, is there actually a way I can outsmart him? That'd be pretty cool if there was. <gasps> can I make him dizzy? Aw, oh, man, that would've been really cool. Yeah, it did! I can! Oh, is it by doing that? I could delay it? Am I actually doing something smart or am I actually just breaking the game? Um, I don't know what I did before, but oh well. And then the other guy just joins it anyway. I really appreciate the back the the backgrounds though of um these fights. Like this is literally just themed on the stairs. That's real cool. Why Mario can you suddenly not run away from Goombas? What is wrong with you? Also, why am I able to mash the A button and successfully block? Why is the game this easy? I'm not doing something wrong, I know this. Come on, man. But, uh... Thank you. Wow. Did I seriously literally break this Goomba before? And I'm not going in a loop, am I? No, I'm not. Okay. Is there a way around these guys? Not much. Oh, just go in between them. Okay, I wasn't actually sure that was physically possible or not. I got two hammers! Wow! That definitely deserves its own item. There we go. That was easy. One step to the left. I probably am supposed to have more paint, but I do not care. And excuse me for focusing. Shy guy, get out of here. I do not need that giant splotch of red. I think I'm fine without it. Hello, question mark block. And random space behind it. This is cool. This is fun. Oh, I literally have to fight you. No. Ha <laughs> oh. ha. Well, that's fine. A mandatory fight I'm fine with every now and again. Do I have any Cooper shells? I don't think I do. Oh yes, I've got a, I've got a giant amount of hammers and jumps. Oops. Do I have a spinny one? That's a thing, right? I don't think I do. What's that one? A KO hammer. What's a KO hammer? Let's use it. <laughs> Whatever it is. 
Also, hello. What is this? Mario Mario with five bits. One thing I don't understand is how Morden expected to be able to leave the Crimson Tower when it was locked away because of all the red paint was stolen by Morton's army. Spoilers! Dude! I need to know my I don't need to know my Mario lore before my Mario lore shows up in front of me. But also sure, I'm sure that's a plot hole that Nintendo totally thought of. Or didn't think of. I don't know these things. They just wanted to, the the story that I know of this game is still pretty flat. So maybe they just didn't care that much, you know? Very possible. Oh well. Right, shy guy, you better stay there. Oh. What is with these giant 3D hitboxes? Ah, oh, that is the worst fight I could imagine here. Why is the flea button using my yellow paint now? Don't you dare. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Now, this is using giant amounts of yellow paint, but the flea button is red. And earlier it was using red paint. Is there a logic? Is it like I'm not in the yellow lands, so I don't know why this is an issue suddenly. Everything sucks. I, I don't. <laughs> Am I using coin paints? Mario, what is wrong with you? Oh Christ! Leave. Thank you. Why does it say fight every time I pick a move? This game, man. This game. It's such an up and down trial. That was the blood of the shy guys I left over there. Okay. Are you a secret path? You are not a secret path. This is very Hookdale's Castle-esque. I must say. Oh, it's a big hammer. You can totally tell by that sticker that is the same size as all the others. Ah! Did he always have four fangs at the front? That looks weird. Ah! Ah! Uh. Hello, gentle sir. We have heard that you're looking for the big paint star. We are too. May I ask who you might be? Perhaps we could search for the big paint star together. Hello. Um, yes, hello. I'm Huey, and this is Mario. Yes, that Mario. Big large paint star! I've forgotten his voice already. Yes, we're looking for a big paint star. Have you seen one? Me, Morton. His voice hurts me more than the toads. Uh, nice to meet you, Morton. Now, look, we need to find that... We really need that big paint star. You know, I don't think we're really getting anywhere here. Mario! He's a bit slow. <laughs> Mario! No paint star for the Mario! Okay. I'll never work out how to do this one. Why well, he broke the floor! Somebody tell me he's heard of you before. This Morton guy is gonna be troll. Let's tread carefully. Ah, oh, freaking shy guys now. I really don't want to fight this fight. So I won't. Why is that? That's using a ton of yellow paint and a little bit of red. Is it gonna turn out that you use more shield? You use more paint for fleeing? Oh my Christ, Mario. What is wrong with you? These battle systems are the worst. And I do not wish to use them. Also, I saw this in the trailer, so... <sighs> wow. Look at this. He's... Freaking not functioning again! <laughs> there you are. And people complain about the Wii's controls. Magic! Oh, that was a five bits I missed. Mario, Mario, hello! One. Nope, 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 that was the same thing you said earlier. Never mind. I was reading up the old chat and I see new stuff. What do you. Oh, yes, run along the wall. There you go, I, I hit the flag. Oh, we're actually here already. This tower was really quick. But okay. Also, it totally looks like I could jump off here. No. You can just flail. 
that's cool. Morton fine painter. Look, it's a bit of a red big painter. Looks less like a star than all the other mini paint stars we saw. But there's something wrong with it. We need to help it quick. Oh, maybe that's actually the point. Bad Mario fine painter. But Morton finding more. More Mortons. Mortons. Morton crushed Mario. Morton strong. Morton Mortons. Oh, 3D hammer. This is gonna ruin some things. Bring me pedal stall. I get it. Morton on pedal stall. Look now, Morton safe here. I was really hoping he'd be like, um, give me my weights or something, and then be like, Morton has more tons with his Morton. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he will. What do I know? Okay. Mm -hmm.